What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video. Welcome to Hold My Nuts Podcast, where we talk about all things semen retention and no fap. Thank you for tuning in today. It's Friday, feeling good, going into the weekend. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and give me that like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the content I will be dropping. Like I told you guys before in all of my other videos, this channel, no one knows about. Friends, family, co-workers, whatever the case may be. Because all I want is the real love, man. So if you're vibing with the content, go ahead and give your boy a like. Go ahead and give your boy a sub. And let's talk about it. So today's video is semen retention turns you into a god. That's right, I said it. It turns you into a god. What, what do I mean by that? It gives you superpowers. And this is not a hyperbole. This is, this is, this is real talk. It gives you what it is that you need in order to go out and conquer the world without semen retention, without the necessary powers that come from holding your semen and you're not going to be able to do what it is you have to do. When you when you're holding your seed, man, you are really empowering yourself. You really are. You are really powering up and um you give yourself an advantage over anyone who's not practicing semen retention. Cuz I'm going to tell you, when you look at the rule today, it's evident with all the simping going on, that guys are not practicing semen retention. So if you are practicing semen retention, pat yourself on the back because you are more than likely one in a thousand. And that's real facts. One in a thousand. That's going to give you an edge. That's going to give you just an advantage over anyone who's not practicing semen retention. So... You need to really embody the idea that the more you practice semen retention, the more you are going to feel like the beast, like the God that you are. When you speak, you're going to speak with authority. You're going to believe the thing that you're actually saying. You're going to be able to feel that energy. Um, you're going to be able to bring your notions to life because you have that life source in you and it's, it's bubbling out of you. You, you need it. You Listen, I can't say it enough. Semen retention is your superpower. It is your superpower. Got a little protein. It's your superpower. I don't know if you guys are into the Bible, but if you ever read the story... Samson and Delilah. And the source of Samson's strength was his hair, his long locks. And no one knew what the source of his strength was. And everyone was trying to figure out, like, why is this guy so strong? Why is this guy so, he's a beast. He killed a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass. Like, this dude's a beast. He was a beast. Right. The source of his strength was in the locks. The source of your strength is in your nutsack. OK, Now I'm not saying you're going to go down, go and, and, and push down buildings. I'm not saying you're going to kill a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass. But what I am saying is this, is that you are going to give yourself the best possible chance of being successful. If you practice senior retention, because it's. It's two things that happen when you practice semen retention. Actually, there's a lot of things that happen when you practice semen retention, but it's two things that happen that help you out the most. One, I think, is a little bit more important than the other. The first thing is, is when you practice semen retention and you go on that journey and you start to put your streak together and you're however many days, the discipline that you're practicing on a daily basis 
it's going to help you immensely in every area, every aspect of your life. Why? Because most men aren't disciplined. Most men are not disciplined. And by practicing similar intention, you are practicing discipline. And we're not even talking about the benefits that you're receiving from holding the seed. We're just talking about rewiring the brain to be disciplined. And not only are you practicing to be disciplined by holding the seed, you're, you're practicing to be disciplined by subduing the most potent, strongest, incredible, ridiculously monstrous urge ever known to man. And that's the sexual urge. So not only are you practicing discipline, but you're practicing to detain a roaring beast that if you, if, if, if you don't tame it, it gets out of control. And a lot of bad things come from it, right? So that puts you ahead of 999 people out of a thousand. You will be the one. You have to practice senior retention, guys. It is the cheat code. I'm telling you, it's the cheat code. It gives you so many benefits that you can clearly see. It's, it, the, the crazy thing about semen retention is it doesn't take long for you to start reaping the benefits of it. It's not like you have to go a super duper long streak to start to see the evidence of, you know, benefits of you holding your seed. It actually happens pretty quickly. You can actually go, if you, if you are regularly having sex and, you know, uh, jacking off and doing all these things, if you are doing this on a regular basis and you just go three days where you don't do anything, you're going to feel, you're going to feel the, you're going to feel the power of the urge. You're going to feel that power. Not only will you feel that power is you will not be able to rest. And what I mean by that is you might try to take a nap. You might try to, you, you will not be able to do it. You will, you will get up from that nap because you, you would have to, you're going to have to do something. And that's just on three days. You go two weeks, now you feeling like a God for real. You feeling like a God for real. These are facts. We have to practice semen retention because it is literally the life source. Not only does it produce life, but it vibrates your life. It makes your life more vibrant. People can feel that energy inside of you. They can see that glow on you um, when you're practicing semen retention. And they can see the calmness in your demeanor. Semen retention causes you to be calm. It helps you not to <clears throat> get out of frame. Helps you maintain a masculine frame. You know, this YouTube thing is, is a difficult thing. A lot of people have tried YouTube. I've tried several channels. And the one thing about YouTube is being consistent. Are you going to drop a video every day? And if you do miss a video, if you do miss a day, are you coming right back the next day with some heat? Like the discipline. I'm finding my, I'm, I'm finding it easier to stay disciplined to drop the videos. I'm I'm dropping the videos. But I'm developing a habit of discipline. And my brain is reinforcing that discipline every single day. So the longer you do it, the more you're going to enforce working out, enforce controlling the urge, enforce for me doing the videos, um, also for me uh, eating the right foods, drinking the heavenly water. These things are benefits of, of semen retention. These are the things that make you feel like a God that turn you into the God that you already are. A lot of us don't even know it, but we have the ability to speak those things into existence. 
And you won't have the faith to do that if you're wasting your seed. You will not have the faith to be able to orchestrate your life because you will be too busy being pulled here and there, up and down, all around, like a merry-go-round, right? But once you allow the semen, the semen retention to pervade throughout your body, it's going to settle you. It's going to stabilize your emotions. You're going to start being able to see things from a bird's eye view. Um, if you haven't, go check out Corday's new album, Bird's Eye View. I like it. He's a, he's a young he's a young artist, but he raps with a lot of maturity, <clears throat> and that's my kind of speed. So yeah, go check out Corday uh, new album. Um, shout out to Corday. New album, Bird's Eye View. If you want to feel like a God, practice semen retention. It gives you sustainable energy. It gives you sustainable energy. It gives you what you need in order to conquer and complete the task of your day. It, it gives you that. And it gives you a calmness of mind. Once you start learning how to control the sexual urge, anything outside of that man is easy. You want to you if you if you're a hothead and you get angry really quick and really easily by being able to control the sexual urge, you are definitely going to be in better position to be able to control your anger because you're controlling the most intense desire out there. And the reason that desire is so intense is because mankind has a mandate to procreate. We have to create other people. And the only way to create other people is through releasing the semen in the box. You got to release it in the box. That's how we create. And there's a mandate to create. It's the laws of nature, man. We can't escape it. That's just what we're here to do. That's why we, that's why the world is populated because the feeling is so good. People chase that feeling and inevitably people are born. If you took away the desire for sex, no one will be born. No one would waste their time on the act. It would be pointless. Why would you do it? There would be no reason to do it. That's like working out and you never lose weight. Would you work out? Of course not. Eating right, but you never get healthy. Would you do it? Of course not. Guys, <clears throat> you want to feel like a God. Master the sexual urges. Because if, if no if no female can control you via the sexual urge, there's nothing can stop you. You are <laughs> you are a you are a god. You are a beast. Control your urges, man. Control them. And become the god that you are. This is Hold My Nuts Podcast. Please like and subscribe and drop your boy a comment and let me know how you feeling about the content drop some knowledge on me i love y'all have a great weekend and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace